human cloning is illegal. This won't be human. Not entirely. It's coming out. It's not due for months. It's slippery. It's well, you made my flesh crawl in the in this, so. Thank you. And that's a good thing. Thank you. That's a good thing. Let's talk about why this is not your traditional sci-fi, say, creature film. Because it's, a, at, the, at the core, a wholesome, dysfunctional family movie. A love story, yeah, maybe? I love, well, yeah. It's, it's, it's complicated. It's a very complicated movie, and I, I like that. I like that it's kind of indefinable. What was that? A mistake. It is a creature movie, and it's it's kind of a modern day Frankenstein, mm -hmm. and it's and I think uh, Delphine Chaniac, who, who portrays Dren in the movie, is does a phenomenal job, and she's, it's it's very it's special. I never played Dren like a monster. Mm. I never played Dren like like a, a just a scientist uh, operation or. I just try to put the feelings inside her, the animal part. I try to wake up my animal part inside me, and I try to be more uh, honest and more um, direct. You'd cross the line. What did you expect when you made it? Didn't you have a plan? What attracted me to it, aside from it being a sick and twisted and unpredictable movie, is that the characters uh, were were they were flawed and and based in reality and uh, the science fiction elements are not that dissimilar to what is going on today in the news so yeah. it's it's pretty exciting why are we taking all these risks all of a sudden what is going on what what is when did you get so scared of everything i thought something that was really interesting is that your wife in the film she doesn't want to have a child with you but she wants to have a child through an experiment. Why do you think that is? Detachment. <laughs> She's a scientist. She is too detached and, mm. and, and ambitious. And I think uh, she is unprepared for the emotional commitment that comes with parenthood. You're a part of me. And I'm a part of you. <laughs> You in the film, I think, have the hardest role because you don't you don't speak. There's no words, but you have to communicate so much with your eyes. Talk about, you know, how difficult that was for you. Yeah, that was a lot of pressure on my shoulder because I, I didn't know if I I can do that like as good as they wish they want. There's so many great disturbing elements to this film. Was there anything when you were first kind of looking at the script that stood out as as maybe the thing that grabbed you? Without trying to give too much away, the, the intimate connection with uh, a creature that isn't entirely human is fascinating. And, you know, I think it, it's pretty powerful the way it's done in the film and, and very strange. And, you know, it's, it's, you know it's, it's this weird thing that's a kind of primal urge and, and that, that is acted upon and, and, and is, it's, it's, it's great. From Dren's perspective, did you, is this more of a love story for Dren? Yeah, of course yes. She, Dren is just about love, but a different composition of love. Love, it's like sad. Love, it's fear. Love, it's fight. Dren is just love. If for this reason she reacts stronger, strong because she's just so sensitive, she's just so human, much more than the other sometimes.